Hello and welcome to another Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial. This is part of our basic series and we're up to tutorial number 7 and we're covering a lot of these create tools. We've already done extrudes, uh, revolves, sweeps, lofts and today we're going to be looking at pipes. So uh, as always you have to start with a sketch. So we'll choose a, a front view here and we'll create a spline. So we'll make a nice curvy shape. something like this. Okay, and if we go to finish sketch and create oops, a hole, um, create a pipe, we select this as our sectional view and um, now we can enter our parameters. Let's uh, make the wall thickness one millimeter and go to OK and there we now have our pipe extruded along that line. Now if uh, we create another sketch on the same plane we'll curve this around in a similar way and yet again we go to create a pipe and we'll go with similar parameters one millimeter uh, let's edit this first of all, so it intersects a little better. Move this down and go to create our pipe. Again, we choose this as the section. There you go, that's better now, it joins properly. Uh, section thickness will be 1, pipe diameter will be 10, and we have join. And there we go, so now our pipes are joined up. Um, nicely there automatically for us but if we do a sectional view you'll notice that it's actually going to be blocked inside if we go to section analysis choose that there you'll see our pipe is actually has a blockage if you had liquid flowing through here it would not be able to get all the way through so that is a problem so what we will do is simply select this face and hit delete and uh, we can also get rid of this side here. Select the face and hit delete. Then we have this little section sticking out on the inside here that we also don't need. So we can select that and hit delete. Also here, to zoom in pretty close, we can get rid of that. So now we have a nice um, finish to the inside of our pipe and our liquid could actually flow around here. Um, you might even want to spruce it up a little bit more by adding a radius to that. And the same on the outside, you can add a radius and on here, all the way around. Can make that one millimeter all the way around here. And now, if we go away from our analysis view, there's our pipe. Uh, so that is it. That's how you um, can simply create a pipe that follows a, a particular path. Now this is a two-dimensional path. You might want the pipe to follow a three-dimensional path. Uh, what I mean by that is at the moment this is just moving in one plane, but what if you want this pipe to kink to the right or to the left? So let's take a look at how we would do that. Let's draw another um, spline here. So uh, we'll go again to the same view. We've got our spline tool and this spline can join up with this pipe. So we'll start somewhere sit here. And we'll draw a curve out like so. Okay, now we're going to finish sketch and uh, grab sketch objects and we'll drag this over there. And this one, drag over there as well. So now we have a kind of wavy S shape to our spline. Kind of interesting. 
And now we go to create again and pipe and we select this as our shape and join again and there we go so now we have a 3d kind of shape to our pipe so uh, we're starting to create some interesting shapes here this could be some kind of sculpture or I don't know what it is but um, it's interesting to look at nonetheless uh, we turn on our section analysis again and you'll see yet again we have some items to delete inside here which we can remove must be joining in a strange way. There's some strange effects there when we do that. I think I didn't join the pipe properly. But uh, anyway, that's um, basically the uh, the way you use the pipe tool. Uh, yeah, that's our problem there. See, it's not quite joining up properly. Um, so to fix that, we can remove this we'll go back to our sketch so I think because this wavy shape here that's why our pipe wasn't quite lining up properly so we'll grab hold of this Shift that out a little. And this one will move back a bit. Okay, let's uh, create that pipe again. Okay, so still not quite lining up. Let's edit the sketch a little bit more. Check all around this time. I think this is good this time. It's a little strange there. So uh, shift that back a little bit just to be sure. There, that looks good. Uh, join 10 millimeters. Blah, blah, blah. We go to our section view again. And let's try again removing this there we go you see this time it works you fix the problem quite there though you see our pipe still has a problem there that's why it seemed like before That. This is good, you get to see um, troubleshooting in real time. I think if we make our pipe section maybe a little bit smaller, might help. So, we'll delete these features that we just did here down on our timeline. Grab hold of this. And I think it will help to make the section of the pipe a little smaller. 
just to make sure that we fit within the bounds of the other pipe. So we select that. Let's check all around again. See, we've still got pipe sticking out there. Still just a tad. Five pipe. Okay, I think this time maybe I hope we lined everything up and we'll make the section size nine millimeters just to make sure that we fit. Or we'll make it nine point five just to make sure that we fit inside there. Join operation and do analysis again. Hope it works this time. There we go. And voila. Uh, so now we can put our, our radius on here again if we want. Let's tidy things up two millimeters. Uh, we should do the outside first. You'll see that uh, it's cut a hole through. So we go here, we go two, same on the inside. Hide our sketch again. So enough analysis. And there we go. There's our pipe shapes um, joined up. Um, so again, we're not making any particular shape uh, at all. I'm just showing you how I go through the process of using these tools and when we come up against problems, uh, what we can do to solve them um, along the way. So there we go. If you found this tutorial video useful, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You can find this project file um, in the links below. And I uh, hope to see you next time.